Hi everyone, I'm Pay Mary, and this is the Path to Max tutorial. Okay, just getting used to this program here. So first of all, like all my other puzzles, this is going to start at page one. Okay, I'm just going to try it here. There we go. And we're gonna have and we're just gonna get a closer look at it for a moment. Okay. <laughs> Back to the main thing. So a plus B plus so A plus B is these two digits here. If each other if each other is a digit and A plus B plus C plus D equals B concatenate to C. Basically basically concatenation is just putting two two characters beside 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 each other. Basically like this. Like one, two, four, twelve, or like letters in a sentence. Or letters and words and stuff. But anyway. So if we know that much, then we can start narrowing, <laughs> we can start narrowing some stuff down a bit. I was going to draw it here, but I have this neat little, <laughs> I have this little program that should speed things up a little bit. Okay, so if you look closely here, then you'll see that these are specific powers of one, of two, of three, and so on. So just ones, and then squares, and then cubes, and test racks, what have you, right? So for the A B condition to be met for the thir thir for the hundreds and thousands of digits. You basically just have to look at the four digit numbers mostly. And 2 plus 1 is 3, not 7. 4 plus 0 is not, definitely not 6. 1 plus 0 is so just 1, 4, 14. Now those is 5. 3, 6. This is 4. But, and these digits do up to 19. But we said like we said this is B and that's C, and B and C don't show up as nineteen. This is eleven, and this is eleven. So, so none of those can be the answer, and none of these can be, and no powers of two can be the answer either, because of the, because you don't even get four digits, let alone powers of one. So at least, so at least powers of three. One plus zero is one. Can't be that. One plus three is four. Can't be that either. This is eight. Same deal. This might be. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 7 is 10, plus 9 is 19, and B and C is 19. Therefore, this can be the answer, which is. I'm oh, sorry, this thing just has to low for a bit. Thirteen cubed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There we are. Now we're just going to go back here. And then draw the path ahead. To down through two lines to 13. Because the answer we're looking for is just the base, right? Now. We flip on over. An odd one. Okay, back here now. <laughs> so we're just gonna go here, pull this down. And basically if we check our list of cubes again we 
One would see that 27 is the only possible answer since one's already been done, and 5 is too high. 1 to 25. There's only 27 pages here. And this says this says go up three, and it says go up three. Okay. Two twenty-seven. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a little thing on. And. Oh, <laughs> sorry. And then we go. Okay, and just go out and go, go there from here. Okay. Uh, this one's a little more interesting. Just gonna pull it down first. One product, two little numbers, three operators, four big numbers, five symbols. Well, symbols are basically just like. Well, symbols really. It's interesting because I looked up the word sign and that specific specifically refers to a number's polarity, like positive and negative and such. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was just a little fun. That was just a little fun fact. But the mo but I find like the, the, like really common symbols that aren't really used if you're just dealing with an equation by itself without an answer beside it are brackets that symbols that are operators I, I should clarify and the arrangement I intended in this case is the following sorry I'm just kind of like oh. <laughs> okay I'm just gonna try to lock. I'm just, I'm just gonna try to lock this. Make it easier, easier for me to edit. I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> um. Sorry, yeah, I think we're just going to zoom out a bit. It's just a matter of like mix, mix, mixing and matching different combinations and finding out which numbers fit and which ones don't really. And then to differentiate them, we're going to um, make this one a slightly different shade. And I kind of implied this is I kind of subtly implied that this is a linear pattern, so I'm just going to show you how how it progresses. I usually start at one unless I unless I state otherwise, so that should help you out a little bit.
Yeah, usually my puzzles are they, they don't require too too much thinking, except for a few a few of them later on. But it really depend but it really depends, I guess. I try to make the later sections a little a, a, a little trippier than the, than the earlier ones. But um. But basically, you end up getting this. <laughs> that's progress way sometimes. You can also twenty three because if you add one to this, that's seven, and you can add one, to, and that's one, that's one minus eight. Yeah, yeah. Because if this were seven, then you can rearrange this equation as a plus a plus a a plus a plus a plus one minus one and plus one minus one is zero so that's 24 if you subtract one from that you get 23 and then this is 12 plus 64 which is 76 and 70 plus 80 yeah yeah 70 plus 80 is 150 and 6 plus 1 is is 7 so 157 And just in case, and just in case something silly, so something something silly happened there. Um, I checked to here with this. Uh, I checked to here. I, I checked to here with this formula just in case, as a pattern and all that. Okay, so now that you know that, we're gonna flip to page twenty-three. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I have to like reorient myself a bit. And this next one's this next one's really simple. As you can see on the side there, we have four puzzles so far. So basically, it just means the it basically just means the fifth <laughs> page on page five, and we're going up three again. This was a little trickier, but it's not too too bad. Basically, ten in ten in a base is like that base is numbered to the power of one essentially. So so what squares is one above if the one's digit always represents a power of zero, which is just one really. <laughs> well, obviously four plus one, so this is so, so this must be binary. 
That being said, there are two digits of binary, 1 and 0. Therefore, if you have 1 and 1 here, it's 1 below the next power. 1, 2, 4, 8, minus 1 is 7, right? So that must be the answer. And we're going to we're going two over this time. Okay. This time, <laughs> and this time it's an even one, right? I'm oh, sorry, I think I zoomed out a little more. I just kind of, I, I just kind of have that big because, like. It's sort of the same on both. Uh, it's sort of the same on both windows I'm using, so it kind of has to be big for the other one. I'm just gonna put this one here for kicks. <laughs> You know, it's not possible. Okay. So, hate's the only, only answer here. Do, you know, for, similar, for, for pretty much a similar reason to the last one. So we're just going to go... 2 over to that. Okay. First, second, third, if first times second plus third squared e e equals first plus second times third e e equals first times second plus third squared. If each, if each one represents a single digit, find the lowest base. And just there's a little bit of trouble. <laughs> um, just gonna go back over here. So we said for for. Um, First times second plus third squared, okay. Oh, all that squared, sorry. So this would only be, this is, this would be pretty small. This would only be three. That'd be eight. That'd be 15. Same here. <laughs> I think that'll be nine. And this would be sixteen. Because two times five is ten. And yeah, that's the same thing as sixteen, and this is indeed sixteen squared, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> There we go. And we and and we um went upwards, so we definitely reached so 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 we definitely did the lowest base. And we're going down three this time. OK. 
Okay. The product of three numbers leading up to the next page in some fashion. Consider why the previous page will, will only lead to itself in a 4 by 4 square made with four lines. I'm oh, sorry. Unusual. I'm sure it's doing that. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. That's what it's doing. That's weird. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna use these circles and stuff for the time being. I kind of like improvising. I kind of like improv improvising with what I have rather than just throwing everything across, throwing everything away because of a single mistake. See what's going on here. Oh, I think I know what happened. My control key got stuck for some reason. <laughs> okay, okay, it's working again. Thank goodness, I was, was kind of scared. <laughs> anyway, so basically, If we made a square with four lines, it'd essentially kind of be like this, wouldn't it? And each of these, and each of these intersects two points, and as we know, two cubed is eight. It just, happen it just happens to be a pattern that fits, <laughs> that fits in all that. That being said, um, yeah, the three previous previous pages we did are um, for, for, for relative to the next one would be the the product of three numbers would be um three times three times two or eighteen.
So we're just going to go down by three and draw that over there. Oh. Alright, just familiar, but I guess we just rotate and use that instead. <laughs> and shrink it a little. Okay. Okay, a single, a single pair of brackets to simplify things. So usually with these patterns, a good yeah. these types of patterns are good approaches to do a little bit of prime factorization. So that's like the simplest way to present 9, and this for 7. However, what if we present it this way? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I meant to draw. It, I meant to draw it a different way from before, but eh, it still makes sense. Whatever. That becomes clear. The answer we're looking for is. Five times four, which equals twenty, right? But I'm just gonna do something fun here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just switching around helps a lot. A little, little shortcuts like that help a lot. And it says we're going to overwrite. Okay. Okay, so self would be e squares e, e squares at least two digits. And again we're gonna save ourselves a tremendous amount of time and check this. So we can see that none of these none, none of these two, two none of these two digit values have um, the same digits, so we have to go three digit values. And we saw three numbers, right? So that means we're looking for at least three palindromic numbers. Basically, this, basically they appear the same left to right. Such as 11, 22, and 26, right? Okay, let's go back to the main one. B, and B in this case is 22 squared. 
and we're going down two this time. Okay, so so the so we come to this one. It's not so bad, really. It can't really be one anything because one's too small. You'd like see you, you, I mean, one to power of anything is one. Maybe subtracting basically basically even if I were even if I were zero, the highest possible value you get is. One minus zero, which will, which will also be one. So, so, so you have to be dealing with at least two. And of the end of the remaining pages, possible. We have, to, we have these ones. So let's start with trying one. So, so, so let's start with trying one. Zoom out a bit. Okay, and the next one, twenty four. This one twenty five. Spot on. So twenty five is our answer, and we're going left to this time. Okay, so same differences. <laughs> now, um, basically, the black dot represents wherever you're going next. So, basically, it represents or it represents here. So we're dealing with this number, that number, that number, this number. And, if there, uh, and the difference is the answer you get from subtraction. 20 minus 18 is 2. 18 minus 16 is 2. And 16 minus what equals 2? Of course, you can just flip, of course you can just flip both sides. You can be technical with this if you want to. Why not? <laughs> 16. I like verifying things at least two ways anyway, so 16 minus x equals 2. And 
Then we transpose x by um, and, and, and you transpose both values <laughs> by um yeah yeah. I was gonna show the long way. Who cares? <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on, put this thing off for a bit. Take that off. There we go. <laughs> Shouldn't come up so much anymore. This is my sex. Plus X. Minus two. Nobody needs to do any of this. I'm just, uh, I'm just showing this for kicks, honestly. F max is easier done than said pretty much all or pretty much all the time. I risk subtracting to an any x of both sides of the equation, so it still ends up being equal. And ultimately we end up, and ultimately we end up with this. Which equals fourteen. And as we said as we said earlier. Oh. <laughs> I have to do here too. It's useful, just not at the moment. <laughs> okay. So fourteen. The second C is value should already know. Sounds vague, but it's not so bad, really. The first one we saw was here, and the second one we saw was here, which is 11. So, so a little bit of confusion, we're just going to move this down over here. And go up 3 to, to 11. So, the third and final power of question mark. Well, this one's, a, this one's pretty interesting, so let's do it the fun way. All powers of one are themselves, there are infinitely many. So, 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 so you might as well just start off with two. And 32 is a little too high, so we can't do that one. Oh, 
Oh, I kind of think about it. Yeah. The zero side's the zero side's kind of important. <laughs> This would be 64 and this would be 125. However, as you can see, we've already done both 5 and 25. But surprisingly, we, we haven't done 4. So that's the answer we're looking for. <laughs> and we're going right to this time to four I try to word things as clear as clearly as possible, but I also try to be as minimal as possible to like help folks like learn, learn how to think more effectively and all and what have you. So we come to this one: ten minus one equals b in base question mark. Also, also an unusual convention, but in bases above ten. But, but, but we already said how like a base is numbered to to the power of one is um ten in, ten in that base right some binary like two is ten like to the power of one that's ten in binary and base ten ten is ten obviously <laughs> however in base eleven eleven will be ten so how is ten represent represented in base eleven or or in decimal. Use A instead. You start using letters and everything. You can go up to thirty-six bases that way because you have like the because you have like nine numbers and nine numbers and twenty-six letters, and then thirty and thirty-six is ten after. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Since time is since ten minus one equals b. And we're going over two this time. Orthogon is basically just a fancy word for straight, left, up, right, or down, and all these lines thus far have been um. Oh, <laughs> well, even if it's simple, let's go. Let's go to the page first for crying out loud. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so basically straight, straight, straight up, straight up, left, right, or down, and in this case, all all of them have been two so far, so. If we're doing it like those ones, we're going we're, we're gonna to we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go by two, and the question mark must be a two if that's what we're doing. So we're going to go to two. We're going to cross two lines to two.
Okay, the difference between two numbers is key. So we're going to start with prime factorization as usual. Since sometimes you have to rearrange numbers in different ways to get a clearer sense of um, what you're actually dealing with. So it's just sometimes you don't even have to do it a whole ton, but it depends. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I'm just going to drag this down here instead. <laughs> That's actually right. And Okay. I'm just trying to think what I did for this one, sort of. Yep, some of them will take a while. <laughs> so some of them will take a little while. I'm just not used to like you know, like doing all this stuff at once and then recording and everything, so Yeah. Just wanna check something, make sure I'm right. Pretty cool. There's all this free stuff available online. You can just like make amazing things and all that. Just taking a while to load, load, load this other thing up. Oh, I already had it open, I didn't even have to. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, okay.
I know something. Yeah, that's why that's what threw me off. Okay, guys. This, this, yeah, yeah, this is supposed to be a two. Oh, oh man, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I suppose I was right the first time. Yeah, it only makes sense as a two, as I was thinking. So I have the right pattern in mind, but it only makes sense as a two. Yeah, 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 yeah. That threw me off. I'll have a corrector, don't worry. But, yeah. Um... So basically, I said two numbers, right? Any kind of me and patterns and everything, <laughs> everything with all this and all and stuff. So. And his way of approaching it is kind of doing it. Is kind of doing it like this. I don't think I have that fixed, but yeah, uh, I was kind of thinking of it one way, and then it ended up being impossible based on how I presented it. But yeah, I'll fix that. So you, so you, I'll fix that after I upload this. So you even like if you haven't watched it, it'll still be fine after. You won't have to worry. Then this times twenty one. So we said the difference, right? And the difference is uh, and the difference is the number subtracted. So There's a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of mistakes I make a little bit from time to time behind the scenes and everything. So one can so, so one can realize that this is like four and everything. So if we're gonna have a three here, then why is four above three? It must be seven. So the answer is so, so the answer is twenty one. And we're going no we're going left by two. And so one minus two, uh, and page number minus previous page number, and the page you solved is two, so dweet, dweet. <laughs> nineteen. So we're going left by two to nineteen. Flip one page back from the ch page I was chosen instead of this one. Well, this one this one seems a little obscure. Both a little trial and error, we can notice something. And rather and fairly quickly too. Three times six is eighteen. Plus one is nineteen, and that squared equals.
this very same number, 361, and we chose, but, 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 but we chose 60 instead, right? That said, 60 minus 1, so 60 minus 1 must be 50, and we're going down by 3 this time. Okay, it's 15. Where's the alphabet? Well, well, this book's in English, so it's going to go with the English alphabet, and that'll, and that'll clearly be 26. <laughs> so, going down by 20. So, so let's just go. Let's just go there. Down by three again. Can you arrange three three different objects? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's a little chunky, I thought. All right, let's go with it. One, two. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think you just repeat it. Two, one, three, three, one, two. There's a formula for this that you can see in my third book for free, which, which, has, which has a preview online for free, just like the other ones. It's some pretty cool stuff, combinatorics and all that, permutations and everything. I basically always have the same combination with different permutations. It's pretty neat stuff. Combination is basically like a group of elements, while the permutation is like the specific is how, is how they're specifically ordered. So six basically, and we're going over by two this time. Okay. Okay, so we already know from multiple sources that 4 times 4 is that four, that 4 squared is 16, right? Then we have 1 for 17. And we're going over by 2 this time. That's like adding the fun little arrangements because it, it looks because I think it looks cute, kinda cute. <laughs> Now seventeen. Now this. Now this seems like this. This seems a little bit vague and stuff. However, if you're typing on a keyboard, what number would you see? Let's just put it this way. Oh. 
Not a sensible bag, it's fine. So we're going to so we're going to buy three two three. And the fourth triangle number. I went over this a bunch of different times in in my books, but I don't mind saying again. I don't mind saying it again because it's awesome. <laughs> but basically, a, a, a handy formula for this is um. n times n plus 1 over 2 and this is y I was reducing the opacity, it should have a similar effect. See? You can also visualize, you, you, you can kind of visualize how these formulas work in shapes and everything. So basically just take it, you see, you just, take the, just, just take the number you want, multiply by the number above, and then divide by 2. So in this case, 4 times 5 over 2 or 20 over 2 or just 10 and we're going left by 2 this time Okay. So if this is all you have, then obviously you know it's not a variable. And it can't be the Roman numeral because we're on ten, right? So what does that leave? Well, based on the obscure possibility you mentioned earlier, it could be 9 dot 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 x, and then that would be like 24 above 9, because x is the 24th letter, right? x, y, and z, if there are 26 letters, and then x is, must be the 24th, and 9 plus 24 is 33, but you also think of 10 plus you can also think of that as 10 plus 24 minus 1, which is also the same thing. But there aren't 33 pages, there are only 27, so 24 is the only possible answer. And we're going up by 2 this time.
Okay. So square root minus a cube equals one. Well, all these like diverge way too much, so they kind of have to get a little bit smaller. <laughs> and you have 9 minus 8. But we're looking for the square here, so the answer we're looking for is 9. And we're going up by 2 this time. And that leaves the only page remaining, which is 9. Took a while to make this in Blender. Pretty colorful letters, aren't they? Well, I'll leave this one to you guys. <laughs> just, like, just, just like the rest of the puzzles. But... See if the shape gives us some kind of a hint. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you any kind of sense of what I'm going for with mathematics. It sounds so bad, just have a little confidence in yourself, a little faith in everything, and things will be alright. This world's amazing, so I still for being bored and miserable and all that stuff. <laughs> Have some fun, enjoy the sun and everything. Thank you, love, thank you, wisdom, thank you, knowledge, thank you, respect. Thank you to TLC and every righteous communi community and the most highs. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.